All right, welcome to Two Dimensions. Uh, we're going to start talking about how physics can work uh, both left and right or up and down and forward and things like that. And so yeah, you'd expect with two dimensions we need to use vectors because we have to have directions. So we're going to start off easy with vectors. We're going to start off with vectors just in, in one dimension, back and forth. All right. So going back to what we already know, scalars, right? Scalars are just a number. It doesn't have a direction to it. Seconds are a scalar. 52 kilograms is a scalar. A number seven is a scalar. Vector measurements, of course, have a direction to them. Two centimeters east. 55 meters per second forward, right, 32 miles up, whatever. So vectors have this direction to them. We could then, oh, let's see, so what is not a vector? All right, we're going to take a look at this. Uh, what do you think is not a vector? All right, so displacement, that's a vector, right? Acceleration in our class, for the most part, we call that a vector. Speed is not a vector, and we just said mass is not a vector. So the right answer is two of these, both. A and B are vectors. So we can use this idea about vectors uh, for displacement, acceleration. We're going to use it in, in returns to velocity as well. All of these are vector measurements. So when we do math on them and stuff, we can think about them as vectors. So uh, to some extent, if you want to draw on paper a vector, you can draw an arrow, right? This is an arrow, right? It has a direction to it, and it has a length. And we call the length the magnitude. Just like if we had uh, 9 meters up, right? 9 meters up. The 9 meters would be the magnitude part. This is the magnitude. There's a number associated with this, okay? Now, if you had a smaller magnitude, boop, smaller arrow. This represents a smaller magnitude vector, all right? Now, the other part of vector is the direction, all right? And so usually what we do is we say, okay, here's a horizontal line or maybe a vertical line or something, and what direction is this compared to that horizontal line? In this case, right, this could be a 25 degree angle from this line. And so our direction of this vector is 25 degrees above the x-axis, right? Because it's above the x-axis. 25 degrees above the x-axis. Um, now, the interesting thing about vectors is that they, as long as they have a direction and a, uh, a length, they're considered a vector. Any, mag any vector that has that length and that direction is still the same vector. So this vector, right, these two vectors are the same vector. They have the same length and the same direction. I can move this one all around, okay? Now these two vectors are still the same vector. They have the same length and they still have that same angle above uh, the x-axis, all right? So we can move our vectors around if we need to, and that will be important for two-dimensional vectors, which will be later. All right, so let's look at ve velocity as a vector. We have a bunny rabbit. He's moving that way, and we're going to assume that he's fast, right? So the bunny is a nice, fast little dude, okay? And then we've got a little green turtle, right? And he's moving slow. He's headed that way. So which one are, uh, represents the, the velocity vectors of the two? Okay, well, the bunny is fast, and so all of his arrows are going to be fast. So those all work for the bunny. The turtle, we're assuming, is slow, right? And so the magnitude of his vector is going to be really small. So we want a short vector. We want one of these guys. And then the other part about the turtle is he's headed to the left, and so this is to the left. So here, C is our choice, all right? This vector represents the bunny. This vector represents the turtle. As you can see, the bunny is going faster and also a different direction than the turtle, who is slow, pointing the other direction. Okay. So, resultant. The resultant of a vector is a fancy word for the sum of two vectors. Okay. You, get, you can do it by graphically or math. Right. So, if I have an arrow and I have another little arrow, what I can do is move this little arrow on over to here, and we see this is the new sum, this big long one. I could have an arrow up and an arrow down, and I could add them by sticking the little one down, oop, down like that. If we add them together, that gives us a new one that is this big. We will see here that we add these vectors by sticking the tail of one vector onto the head of the other vector. Okay? We could also do it mathematically, right? So if we have five up and then three down, we can see that five up, and then and you add 
three that are down, okay, that's going to get us a two, okay? And so if we add these two guys together, it's going to equal a two going upward, all right? So here is some math, different ways to add one-dimensional vectors. So we've got these guys here. If I add this guy to that, we would, again, we put the tail of one onto the head of the other, and we can see um, that they are going to make a nice long vector, a nice long vector, and so this is graphically what it would look like. If we want to do mathing, it would be, we're going to math the heck out of this. Here we go. Seven and three gives you ten. Ten that way, right? It's a vector. It has to have a direction. Ten to the right. Okay, down here, we've got seven and three, but they're going the opposite way. Okay, so we have to add this tail onto there, and so we move it over there, right? We'd move three back, and so you would end up with a vector that's like that long, and so this is four pointing that way. We have seven that way, and we have three in the positive way, so that gives us a minus four, right? Minus four means it's going that way, okay? Up here, okay, five up and four down. Okay, and so if we take the five here and put it, move the, the tip here, the, the tail here to the head there, and we draw the five, there's the five, we can see that our vector that's left over is just that much there. This guy's, this arrow is upside down. Scribble it out. Okay, it has a little bit of arrow that way. Okay, and so you've got five up plus four down, just a negative four, leaves us with one upward. Okay. All right, we've got four down and five down. So we've got four down, right, plus five down, okay, and that's going to equal nine downward. That's just some of our backward, and it's downward, you know it. Uh, and so it would be a really big long one like that. Okay, and that is how we add with math and with pictures.